for the degree of master of engineering in bioprocess technology, Kyung Yen Ai. Chun Bian Kavali. Jonathan Kaketa Munoz. Vasuhi Lassana Yakam. Natha Kongtun. Sang Kun. For the degree of Master of Science in Bioprocess Technology, Anil Kumar Anau. Wala Pong Gulananu. Ayrata Chai Pakap. Unova Ali Khan. Lee Ping. Sabin Wash Maski. Sanyang. Why Patum Pai? Malantuya Chakta.
เขาไม่ได้ไปเขาไม่ได้ไปเขาไม่ได้ไปเขาไม่ได้ไปเขาไม่ได้ไเอ่อเอเจนต์
in paper and textile factory. And, and Professor Stevens believes it really works. This shrimp shell soup is actually an experimental purification bath. A squirt of the same bacteria used to make yogurt is added to the soup to strip all the protein out of the shells. The chitin that's left has some remarkable properties. Researchers say it's antifungal and antibacterial, but so easy on the skin that chitin membranes like this one are being tested as dressings for burn wounds. As a waxy paper, chitin is non-toxic and quick to biodegrade. Chitin syrup, when used to coat seeds, has been shown to improve crop yields by helping the seeds resist fungus and repel insects. AIT researchers say chitin's inherent stickiness could prove valuable in new blood clotting drugs for hemophiliacs, new sperm paralyzing contraceptives, and new fat blocking drugs for dieters. You can already buy chitin and its more refined cousin chitosin in diet pill form. Scientists have long known of chitin's promise. The problem has always been finding a cost-effective way to process high-quality chitin in large amounts. Farmers use aerators to help keep the water fresh while the young shrimp are developing. The worldwide boom in shrimp farming has now made chitin available in staggering amounts, millions of kilograms a year. Harvested shrimp are immediately chilled in ice water. They will stay on ice from this point on. And then people were trying that type of heat. With a few quick movements, Thai workers use their bladed thumbs to remove the shrimp's heads and part of their carapace, or shells. Frank Seafood, which is sponsoring the chitin study, would like to know if the discarded parts can be recycled into a money-making resource. AIT researchers believe that can happen, but say the startup costs will be high.